Now let us discuss about octal to binary encoder or 8 by 3 n 8 by 3 encoder 8 by 3 encoder so here octal means base value is 8 whereas binary means it is a combination of zeros and ones so here binary this binary number mainly contains 3 bits here so octal to binary encoder or 8 by 3 encoder so let us see the block diagram of the octal to binary encoder uh, so it accepts totally 8 inputs and produces totally 3 outputs we know what is encoder encoder accepts 2 power n inputs and produces n outputs okay so here what is the size of the encoder 8 by 3 so it totally accepts 8 inputs from a0 to a7 and produces 3 outputs from y0 to y2 at a time only one input is activated among all the 8 inputs at a time only one input is activated and uh, uh, that input uh, binary number will be uh, displayed as the output now let us see the truth table here uh, here we have two columns inputs and outputs here the inputs are from a0 to a7 so a0 to a7 we have written like this okay a7, A6, A5, A4, A3, A2, A1, A0. In any order we can write there is no problem. From A0 to A7 also we can write there is no problem. Whereas the outputs are Y2, Y1, Y0. Y2, Y1, Y0. So most significant means uh, MSB bit means higher number. Whereas least significant bit means lower number. So here also MSB means higher number. LSB means lower number. If we want we can change the positions there is no problem. From A0 to A7 also we can write. Okay, So we know that out of 8 inputs, at a time only one input is active. So here if the inputs are here in the first inputs, uh, A0 is active. That means A0 is 1, whereas remaining inputs are zeros. If A0 is active, then what will happen is A0 means let, let it be decimal number 0. So we will get output as binary number for the 0. So he, this is nothing but 3 bits. Here the number contains totally 3 bits. So we know that we use just 4 to 1 notation in order to represent 3 bits for a decimal number. So here A0 means let it be decimal number 0. So then how we can represent decimal number 0 in binary notation 3 bull 0. So 3 bull 0 is the output. Now let us see the next set of input. A1 is active. A1 is 1. So among all the 8 inputs, at a time only 1 input is active. So remaining all bits are zeros. So let us assume that A1 means decimal number here. What is the let it be decimal number 1. So we will get output as decimal number 1 binary number. So how we can represent decimal number 1 in binary notation? Double zero 001. So double zero 001 is the output. Now let us see the next line. So here A2 e, A2 value is 1. So A2 e is active. So remaining all the bits are inactive. Okay. So here let it be A2 means decimal number 2. How we can represent decimal number 2 in binary notation? 0, 1, 0. So 0, 1, 0 will be produced as the output. Next, next combination, A3 is active. So A3 is 1. So remaining bits are 0. So we will get output as decimal number 3 binary number. So 0, double 1. So 0, double 1 is the output. Okay. Next, A4 is active. Remaining all the bits are zeros. So we will get output as decimal number 4 binary number. So 1, double 0. Next, A5 is active. Remaining bits are zeros. So we will get output as decimal number 5 binary number 101. So 101 is the output. Next A6 is active. So remaining bits are zeros. So we will get output as decimal number 0 binary number. So 110. Next A7 is active. Next remaining all the bits are inactive. Okay. So we will get output as decimal number 7 binary number that is 3 bull 1. So now we have to evaluate the logical expressions. So first let us evaluate why not, why not, so why not equal to, why not equal to, if we observe why not column, here we have 1, so when, uh, when it is 1, when a1 is 1, so we can write as a1 plus, next this is the second one, so when we are getting this one here, when a3 is 1, when a3 is 1, so a1 plus a3 plus, next, next one, here we have 1. So when we got 1 here, when a5 is 1, when a5 is 1, 
plus next here also we have one so we got one when a7 is one so this is the expression y not equal to a1 plus a3 plus a5 plus a7 so likewise we need to evaluate a, uh, y1 and y2 also so when y1 is one we have to we have to observe y1 column okay where we have ones so let us observe y, y1 column this is the first one here so when we got one here when a2 is one when a2 is one next when we got this one here when a3 is one a3 is one a3 is one next to for this one for this one yeah for this one a6 is one a6 is one next to for the last one a7 is one okay a6 a7 next let us evaluate y2 y2 column y2 expression so all ones here so here this is a4 next a5 next a6 and the last one is a7 so y2 equal to a4 plus a5 plus a6 plus a7 okay now we have to draw the logic circuit diagram okay circuit diagram for the corresponding expressions okay so now let us draw the circuit diagram for 8 by 3 encoder or octal to binary encoder so octal means 8 so 8 by 3 encoder so how many inputs are required here here we have 8 inputs so the first input is a naught first input is a naught next input is a1 a1 next input is a2 a2 next input is a3 next input is a4 a4 so next input is a5 next input is a6 a6 next input is a7 or from a7 to a0 we can write there is no problem what is the formula for y0 a1 a3 a5 a7 so between all those inputs we need to perform our operation so this is a1 input a1 next this is a3 input next this is a5 input this is a7 input so we need to perform the r operation so this is nothing but y0 next what is the formula for y1 a2 a3 a6 a7 so this input is a2 input this input is a3 input a2 a3 next two inputs are a6 a7 so r operation this is y1 next what is the formula for y2 y4 plus uh, a, a y2 equal to a4 plus a5 plus a6 plus a7 so this line represents a4 a5 a6 a7 so this is about y2 so this is about octal to binary encoder or 8 by 3 uh, encoder